One sec. Cool. What's going on? This is Tam Fam from BotAcademy.com, and today we have Dan from ManyChat. Dan, welcome. Thank you. Good to see you, Tam. And Dan, what are we going to talk about today? You have something really cool going on, and you know it's on private beta right now, but you're going yeah. to share with everyone really soon, and it's going to be huge. Yes. Yeah, so we've been talking about this for months. Um, <clears throat> it's the Zapier integration. So uh, it's been much anticipated, and what this thing really does is it opens up ManyChat to work with other tools. Before the Zapier integration, if you've been using ManyChat for a while, you know that you can get a lot of information from people, but it all stays inside of ManyChat. You can't extract an email address. You can't, you know, you can't get information from your people and send it to your CRM or to anywhere else you'd want to send it, like an email marketing tool. Well, now with the Zapier integration, you're going to be able to extract data from ManyChat and use it throughout the funnels, throughout your marketing materials, and that's what I'm excited to show you today. That is awesome. So that's just one use case. Do you have to have an example ready for you to share your screen or um, do your yeah. thing? Yeah. So um, I, well, let's wing it. I've got Zapier loaded. Let's just, <laughs> let's make something. And I think the coolest thing to do would be to show everybody how you can get an email address out of uh, ManyChat now. So if you ask somebody for their email address in a conversation, you can store it as a custom field in ManyChat. Now, when that field gets updated, you can trigger a zap that will send that email address anywhere you want. So for today's purposes, I think what I'd like to show is how you can ask somebody for an email address in ManyChat, zap it over to a Google Sheet, for example, and then if you wanted to, you could download that CSV file and then upload it to a CRM. So Perfect. just a very simple workflow that you could start using right now to start extracting email addresses from your subscribers so that now you can link up contacts between systems. How cool would that yeah. be if you, if you could have like, you know, ConvertKit or, um, you know, Infusionsoft and have one of these subscribers there and then the same person in messenger and be able to sync them and their, their activity between between systems that's what we're talking about here so yes awesome so uh do you mind if i just jump into that yeah go for it okay i'm gonna try to find the share screen thingy sure there we are the bottom yes yeah sure um I'm, 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 i've got so many tabs always so many tabs yeah it's as you build of, it up like people in our course and in our community have been wanting this for so long. And I'm so yeah. glad that you guys are listening and, and actually take action on it. So this yeah, awesome. this took a while to roll out because the database part of this is extremely complicated. Our, our engineers are brilliant, but we ran into some, some big issues. I mean, we have lots of people using many chat. Each of these accounts has to be reconciled a certain way. There's data security. There's all these different things that had to go into this. So this is actually a masterpiece of engineering. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it might not look like it, but um, it is. So let's go to uh, any ManyChat account. What I'm going to do is we're actually going to test this live with you, Tam, if you wouldn't mind. Sure. Uh, we're going to uh, just go to any of these pages, and I'm going to create a little, uh, maybe in the welcome message or in somewhere, I'm going to ask you for your email address. So first of all, oh, sure, when you're sure. setting these things up, uh, the first thing you want to do is go make sure your custom field is there. So go make sure that the email custom field is there. I do have this. There we go. And what we're going to do now is I just want to maybe just create an automation and then I'll have you type in a keyword to this bot and it'll sure. ask you for your email address. So sure. what we're going to do is go to new rule. We're going to message contains. I like the contains operator a lot more than is because it's a little bit more flexible as you know. Uh, we're going to say email. Mm -hmm. Create keyword. And then we are going to create a new reply. And this flow is basically just going to ask you for your email. Hey there, can't, uh, what, not this one. We're going to use a, sorry, we have to use an input block for this. Yeah, so user input. input. <laughs> I do that all the time. I immediately start typing. Hey, first name. I like using the curly Q bracket technique. Hey, first name. What's your, e what's your best email address? Okay. And what's going to happen now is I just need to make sure that this is loading to the custom field we just set up. We're going to call it an email field. So this will actually validate now. Whoa. Um, we have we have form validation built into the input block now, Tam. So like if somebody enters an invalid email address, it will give them an error and you can actually customize that error message. So wow, it, that's it, awesome. it, yeah, so it won't even it, this custom field won't even load properly unless you put in a good email address. So um, I just always like adding a little bit of fun. Oops. <laughs> 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 i.e. stuff at things.com. Okay. 
And then there's also a button they can just skip. If they don't want to give you this information, we also make it super easy for them to just skip it. So oh, there's a skip nice. button. Um, again, we're trying to build a really user-friendly tool for the, for the end user so that they love interacting with your bot. All right, we're going to save this to the email. And actions on successful input is a, is a new thing too. So it's, if, if somebody enters uh, uh, the right email address or a valid email address, you can actually fire actions on this. Oh, so, snap. this is really great for like funnels. Yes. Because, yes. Oh, because um, we're thinking about having like a deadline funnel type of yeah. sales funnel. And if this triggers and then the, that email can go into VisionSoft and that would trigger, boom. Yeah. Yeah. They work together. Exactly. So um, you can even trigger a zap from this right now, but we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it another way, but I will show you this if we have time at the end. Sure. So, um, this is all good. I don't think we need to do anything here, but this is an option for, for you guys, which is super cool. And we added this just on the last sprint and I was so excited when I saw that. All right. So this is basically done. Um, all that needs to happen now is we need to publish it. All right. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the link, Tam. Sure. Wait, is it already connected to Zap Zapier in the Google Sheet? No, not yet. But I'm gonna, okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the link so that because I don't think you're subscribed to this bot yet. Sure. I don't know why you would be. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to you. Secretly, uh, yeah. just, you can like pause your screen if you want to. Okay. You wanna, like, send your messenger or show, show all your messenger because I, I had that problem before. Yeah, no, it's okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to send the, in the oh, group chat. I see right. it. Yeah, so basically all you have to do is just go through the get started message on that bot and then you'll be subscribed and then we'll, we'll go through the flow. The next step that I'm going to take is actually to set up the zap. So, okay. So don't, um, don't click on get started yet. Yeah. Don't do that yet. But that, it's available for you when we, when, when I say go, so sure. make a zap <clears throat> and then we are going to go to uh, many chat beta. That's going to be our trigger. And so here are all the things that you can do. You can trigger a zap when the custom field is updated. And that's the one we're going to be doing today. You can trigger a zap when you get a new subscriber. Oh, nice. So any new subscriber that comes in can trigger something. Okay. Um, so check this out. This Are is something tag? you could tag somebody immediately. And here's another thing that people have asked for forever that we didn't build internally, but that you can do now. You can use ManyChat as both the trigger and the action. So when you get a new subscriber, you can automatically pump them into a sequence now mm. via Zapier. Email so sequence? Could, no, yeah, sure, an email sequence or, um, or, or a, um, a messenger sequence in ManyChat. So you can have a, a sequence set up in, in ManyChat. When somebody new comes in, you, before this, you couldn't send them into a sequence automatically, but the minute oh, that yes. they subscribe, you can now trigger yes. it, them to go into a sequence. So it's like if you oh have like God. an onboarding sequence you wanted to get people into, just yeah. general onboarding, you can now do it with Zapier. We have to record like an hour long thing because I want to <laughs> do all this stuff. I want to trigger yeah. right when they uh, opt in for the messenger. Yeah. I also want... Um, my sequence to, to trigger uh, a messenger while it's yeah. on, that's my email sequence. Yeah, it's doable now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna go, uh, here's the, remember that trigger zap event? So when that happens, uh, you can fire a zap. We're gonna do the custom field updated because we wanna very specifically target email fields. Sure. And then also when somebody opens a new conversation, which is crazy, so if they just type to you, you can now fire automations on them. Yeah. So. Custom field updated, we're gonna save and continue. Um, let's just test to make sure that this uh, webhook is firing. Not working, that's good. So let's, uh, <laughs> uh, let me just. Soy biscuits though. No, it's just a funny uh, fake account I made up. <laughs> uh, let me go make sure that we have this thing set up, connect. Might just need to refresh the page permissions. This happens all the time. Sure, sure. We're gonna test it. Okay, see, nice. it was just it was just a permissions problem. All right, save and continue. Custom field. We're gonna go look for that custom field, which is email. Remember how I had that other one set up? Favorite food. You can put any custom field in here, and it will it'll find it, and that's what it's gonna look for. It's gonna look for an update in there. Ah, that makes total sense. If, if I want feedback, mm -hmm. it would go back, they're typing the feedback and that feedback will go to a Google sheet. Exactly. Absolutely. You could do surveys now in messenger. Yeah. Surveys, yes. Yeah. Wow. So fetch and continue. All right. So we have now tested that 
everything looks like. It can see the custom field. It can read data from that custom field. Right now, Zapier is actually talking to my ManyChat account while we're testing. It's crazy. It's wizard stuff. Okay, connect. <laughs> and we're gonna go. At, we're gonna go ahead and um, let's just do Google Sheets because this is just a really simple way of very like it's a visual way of seeing that you can get data from one place to another. So what we're gonna do is we are going to update a spreadsheet row. Again, you can do a lot of different stuff with, with uh, the yeah. trigger actions. Here's some less common ones. You can actually create a brand new spreadsheet from everything. So it, it, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. So update spreadsheet row, save and continue. Let's connect an account. I think it's just gonna OAuth me in. So I'm gonna use Dan at Minichat. View yeah. and manage, allow. I <laughs> OAuth liked, is so cool. I actually liked how it didn't work um, the first yeah. time you did it because people watching this can be like, Oh, it didn't work for me. I just refreshed my permissions. And, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's super cool. I actually love it when things go wrong a little bit, especially when you can fix them because then it is a learning opportunity. Um, save and continue. Okay. So let's, uh, right now we're going to go over to drive and let me just pause this just in case. Yeah. Feel free to like sh stop sharing your screen. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> so yeah. That, Oh, I can edit this part out if uh, we're Cool. Okay. Can you see my screen still? I can see you. Oh, actually, it's paused now. Okay, cool. So, Team Drive. I, all I need to do is basically just create a new um, spreadsheet. New spreadsheet. Let's just go to the uh, sheets. <laughs> Q3 awesome. growth just... secrets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tam testing. Here's how we're going to take over the world. <laughs> Emails. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say email address in the header and um, yeah that's it so I'm gonna just resume share you should be able to see this now now uh, this is just a regular that. spreadsheet it's nothing nothing too fancy wow. and uh, what okay. we're gonna do now is just go back we got to grab this spreadsheet look just shows up right there Wow no need uh, to refresh either. no nope, nothing the, the, some of the stuff that they're doing with JavaScript uh, is amazing worksheet just the regular one. So we have all oh, the sheet. Yeah. Just the sheet. Yeah. Row. Um, uh, use a search step before this to get the row to update. We will only update the columns you provide, leaving all others untouched. Add a search step or. Mm. Okay. So what we need to do is just add a search step. Look up spreadsheet row, search steps. So this is funny. Use a custom value. No, we don't want that. I think let's just do this. I think it's had it all kind of set up for me. Um, spreadsheet. Yep. Worksheet. Worksheet. Yep. Sheet. Lookup column. Email address. Oh, Boom. That makes sense. Yeah. Lookup value. Um, oh, US. oh, that makes sense. Email. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we need to grab the email. So, uh, but, 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 but username. Yeah. Field, Field value. Down. Yep. That's the one. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Create Google Sheet spreadsheet. If, yes. Yeah, so, uh, Sorry, say that again. Is field value the same thing as custom field? So the field value is now, because now we're working inside of, um, of, of, Google, of Google. So the, what it's looking for is, yeah. Oh, the, val let me, the value, let, the answer is the field. Okay, got it. Yes, exactly. Custom so to answer your question directly, yes, yes. Field value <laughs> is a um, right. Okay. Okay, set up Google Sheets spreadsheet row email address. Um, yeah, so that's it. If it doesn't find this row, it'll just create a new one called email address. This is just to be super thorough. It already right. found it, but this is just a way to kind of make sure that it's going to do it. So we're going to continue. Um, all right. So what it's going to do is uh, do a test right now. And if this test fails, that's okay because Sean might not be subscribed to that many chat account. I don't think he is. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to probably go back and just skip that test. Sure. And what I'm going to do is um, continue. And then we're going to turn it on. Turn this zap on. And then I'll try it because Please I need complete. to be yeah. oh, steps. What steps are you talking about? Step three has an error that requires attention. Let's go ch check that out. Update spreadsheet row. Um, how about we just create a new one? Just for the sake of making this faster, continue. Spreadsheet. Oh yeah, I think you you chose the complicated option in the in the beginning. Yeah, I probably did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Email address. Optional. Yeah. So, 
custom field updated, field value, continue. All right. So again, I don't think, Sean, oh, oh, it worked. Nice. It Great. worked, okay, perfect. Maybe Sean has tested this with me on this account. So we're gonna finish. We're gonna name our zap, Tam testing, oops, Zapier. And we're gonna go like this, turn it on. Now, I just named this a really dumb thing. Let me, let me give you guys a pro tip right now. Cause once you start setting up zaps, it gets crazy. So we're, what we're gonna say here is, let's name things based on the actions zap email addresses from mc to uh spreadsheet okay that way when you guys are going through this um you, you, you won't have silly names you'll have actually human readable names and you'll get you'll actually kind of have, be able to know what you're working with just yes. a little pro tip okay so uh this should all be good let's go back to the dashboard all right um zap email addresses from mc okay this is set up. So what we're going to do now is test it. Um, All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to update. I'm going to go in here to uh, audience and manually update my email address. Okay. Uh, and then Tam, I want you now to go in. Okay. Go into that bot, uh, go through the get started message and then type um, email to the bot. Okay. I'm going okay. through it right now. Okay. I just hit get started. Cool. So you, well, I'm going to refresh this page now and you should show up as a subscriber. So let me just refresh the page. For some reason, I'm not getting a, a message back. Let me refresh it. Oh, I, so I'm there you are. <laughs> let me refresh it again. Sure. Um, so what was the keyword? Um, keyword contains email. All right. It should just be email. Oh, there you go. Hey, Tam, what's your best email address? Yeah. Tam at Bot Academy. Cool. And then what right. I'm going to do is I'm going to go to me. All right. Just did it. And I'm going to update my email address as well. So I'm going to just use my old consulting email address. PDX.com. All right. This is the moment of truth. We're going to go over to that spreadsheet now and see what we should see are two updated email addresses. So. Let me just right. do this. Sorry, this uh, Zoom thing is always in the way. Don't okay. know how. Uh, three. Where did that go? Fourth tab. Fourth tab. Ha! Ah. There it is. Yes. So we have just successfully extracted an email address from asking somebody a question in Messenger. How crazy is that? <laughs> That is so, awesome. So this is just a pipeline, folks. Like, think about this. We set up the pipe to go to Google Sheets, right, Tam? But you could send this in information anywhere that you can send a zap. So imagine sending it to your CRM, to your email marketing program. Like, that's the level of awesome that we're working with right now. This is awesome. And yeah. I see so many use cases. Like, um, you know, for example, the easiest one is like triggering the sequence right when they onboard, mm -hmm. uh, right when they subscribe to the bot. Um, triggering that sequence to go complement the email sequence in the Fusion Soft or Convert Kit, yeah, um, and so many other use cases. So, I had to play around with it myself and like yeah. do it myself uh, and experience it uh, to see all the different use cases. And yeah, sure people watching this will have awesome use cases. So please send that to us as well and send us your uh, success stories. Of course, um, yeah, we have some really interesting ones. We're working on compiling them. We had such a flood of interest in this. We invited a few key people early on. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know why you didn't get an invite. I, I don't know. I want to do that <laughs> you, right now. You invited me like two months ago before yeah. you even launched it. Oh and my you God. told us about it like six months ago. Yeah, because we'd been working, we were working on it way back then. So but let me now just. I, now I know. Now yeah. I, I get it. And now yeah. we're going to actually experiment with it. Yeah. Let me just. Tam, 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 Tam. What I actually don't the, even. Oh, go what's ahead. The, what's the email address I can send it to right now? Um, write, W R I T E, to. Uh -huh. to Tam fam at gmail.com. That's my personal, but Got that's it. what I want to use for like Facebook and such. Um, oh my God. We already have. All right. I'm going to figure this out because it's, it's not letting me invite you for some reason. Snap. They blocked me. They're like, it might be, that it might be that we just have so many goddamn, we have so many people on the beta that have, because Mike's been just signing people up left and right. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how he's doing it because he's just saying, Hey, message me. I'm yeah. Pretty, 500 messages on Messenger. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I'm going to see if there are any redundant um, emails on this list, and I'll, get, I'll try to move one and get you on sure. here. Okay. Cool. 
Dan, thank you yeah. so much for, for sharing. And like, this of is course. freaking awesome for you and for everyone who's using chatbots. Yes, I agree. Uh, I really hope that you put this to good use. Be patient with it. Um, you know, <laughs> you might have to do a couple of like tests. It might not work right away, especially if you're trying to do some sophisticated stuff. Just be patient, start small, be, be simple. Get that magic moment where you're getting something out of ManyChat, just changing a tag or getting an email address. The minute that you do that simple one, you're going to feel what we're feeling right now and you're going to be excited. Uh, just be patient. It'll be awesome. Awesome. Dan, thank you so much for this. Of course. Uh, we appreciate it. Everyone at Bot Academy and our community always appreciates you and your help. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Dan. Bye.